Hello there everybody and welcome back to Dreadout, or more specifically, welcome to Dreadout Keepers of the Dark. Uh, this is a, I think, standalone expansion, uh, but I'm pretty sure it's a standalone expansion, um, that uh, it, I don't know where it's actually set, like within the Dreadout story. Um, I believe there were actually multiple endings to the first game, so whether I got the true ending or I got the bad ending in the last game, I'm not sure. I haven't looked into it in great detail, and I won't until I do this, because apparently this is like designed to fill in some plot holes to answer some questions. Quite where it's set, I don't know, but we'll sort of work that out as we go. So let's get into it. Oh, for goodness sake, i do that now as well. Get me into the game already. You gotta set up a profile, then you gotta choose a save slot, and then you gotta do this and that. And, ugh. Right, yes, let's go. Loading. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure, you know, where this is set, sort of what it's about. All I know is it's sort of a standalone expansion to the main store. Oh, okay. This place, it's never empty. The power it contains is not diminished. And its keepers never sleep. With all the sacrifices I've made, I will not return empty handed. Not this time. It's been too long for the uninitiated. There will be many hardships. Hmm. Oh, apparently we're starting off in Limbo. That's nice. Well, at least we know what to do here. Oh, that's not creepy at all. Is this like Recap 101 or something? I don't see anything else. Keepers of the Dark. Realm of the Unseen. Ooh, spooky. So is this supposed to be like... It's not finished yet. Okay. So is this supposed to be like after I got dragged into the mirror or something? 104. Oh. Um. Rat what? What am I doing? Who the hell are you? I guess no one told you why you're here. Well, neither will I. Not that I know anything. These candles aren't here for mere decoration. You know, some people don't become wandering spirits just because they did something awful in life. Take, for example, well, um, now nah, I'll tell you some other time. If you get to see some items lying around, it might not belong there, just saying. They say when you die, life flashes before your eyes. Didn't work for me. Over the years, I've yet to see one soul that truly wanted truly wants to be in this hellhole. Who am I to say you should run towards the light? Don't bother with about the candles on the floor. I don't remember how it fell either. I guess no one told you why here. Oh, wait, right, he's just repeating lines. And he's here after decoration. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Well, this is a bit bloody different. One candle, two, two, two. So it seems we have eight rooms. And they are realms to enter. Okay, let's start at 101. Room 101, great place to be. I have no idea what's going on. I mean, based on that intro, it seems like this is a sort of... A story that's, you know how they like insert stories into other stories and just like pretend that nothing happened? Like in, um, Deus Ex Human Revolution where you had that 
inserted scene where Adam Jensen tap 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 pan uh, uh, the death gaze apparently whatever the hell that means well yeah in Human Revolution you had that scene where uh, you know Adam Jensen goes into that pod and then wakes up and everything's fine but then in the DLC it turns out oh no actually something actually happened then but um, yeah okay that's the thing so this is weird do I still have oh I do I still have both cameras that's cool well it's very pretty Definitely still the same engine. And I haven't the faintest clue where I'm going. Oh, I tell you what I do forget to do. I forgot to adjust the sensitivity on the mouse. Oh dear. Oh, hello. Make sure you want to exit this round. If you here will be abandoned. No. Okay. So this is weird. So it's it's a literal level like thing. You can go into a level. You can go out of a level. Something about candles. I've got to go into each realm and turn candles off or on or something. <clears throat> right, well, I guess we'll just start exploring and we'll see what happens, if anything. Hey, what is that? Ooh, it's a face. Yeah, that's right, you bugger off. Oh dear. They can move! I'm fairly certain that's unfair. Right, well, okay then. Oh shit. Missed. Okay, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Did I get it? Seems a little buggered off. Oh good, that was nice. What the hell is going on? So this seems to be just a level based thing. Interesting. So yes, okay. The drips got noisy all of a sudden, that's weird. Okay, so presumably we're looking for something. We're either looking for a candle we need to take a picture of to blow it out, because... Okay, at the entrance there was a candle. There was one single candle. That's just trash. And so I'm thinking that's what you got to do. you got to go into a level, find the candle, put it out, and then you're good. And that's going to require a lot of exploration, which is fine. I'm fine with exploration. Linda's getting tired. So, okay. I'm getting the distinct feeling it's not on this side. Just, you know, based on the fact I haven't found it. And I'm pretty much explored everywhere. Okay, so it's clearly over the other side then. Great. That was a waste of time. But then I wouldn't have known it was a waste of time if I hadn't explored it. So I guess that's all I'm good. At. Creepy sounds. I will say the sound is the one 
thing that's always been like consistently good about these games. Like, you know, a lot of horror games balls that up. No, they, they don't do good ambient sound, they just sort of... Yeah, you know, they go too over the top with the sound. Sound, especially sound in a horror game, should always be subtle. You know, it should be things that are just out, like just on the edge of your ability to hear. That's that's how horror sound should be. Definitely should be subtle. Whoa, what the hell? Why did it just get massively friggin' dark? Oh. Hi! Oh, that's creepy as all fuck. You gonna let me use the goddamn camera then, or what? Am I dead? Not yet. Oi! Fucking small head, stop that. I think I need to just keep moving. Go! Oh! Okay, giant head! Giant head! Every time I go to take a picture, one of those little fuckers knocks me over. Now you can't even look at the bloody thing. Get up. I'm trying guys, I'm really trying here. I'm dead. Yep. Back to Limbo. I was not expecting that. <laughs> A giant friggin' Medusa head. Jesus Christ. That was unexpected. I don't even know if I can actually, like, deal with those little heads. I mean, that'd be nice, but they look like they're there just literally to knock you over every time you go to take a friggin' picture. I think this is what this game is going to be. It's going to be like a sort of boss attack style thing. Look at it.
Uh, sorry if I'm being quiet, I'm trying to focus. Come on, come on! How many more hits is this fucker gonna take? Oh, get your fucking camera out! This is getting annoying. Like, really annoying. I think I got it. Wow. Boy howdy, did I have to spam that? Whew. That was annoying. Spirit banished. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I guess that was it. Oh, it's her. It's the teacher. Right. Well, that was the thing, I guess. Hey, you moved. Well, room 101 is now officially done. Mm. Nine heads are not better than the ones, but you sure proved it to her. Mm. She's ain't changing in the hall because we're doing something right, but for you. Uh, I don't think anything else has changed. I mean, you changed position, and the candles are gone. So, presumably, the number of candles sort of implies how many bosses there are in the area or how many spirits to vanquish there are god i hope they're not all like that i don't think i could handle that many bosses seriously anyway i'm completely out of time for this episode so this is not what i was expecting like this is almost i, I it's almost arcadey in its style isn't it it's just like you've got this corridor pick a room defeat the challenge inside and then move on to the next one there's nothing wrong with that perfectly fine but it's totally not what I was expecting. But it might be interesting because it seems like every one you defeat, you get a little nugget of story. Like what was with the teacher going into the room with the mirror? That's odd. So anyway, yeah, interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, so yes, thank you all for watching everybody. Let's see where this goes. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe. 
all the usual good stuff and I'll see you in the next part guys. Bye!